defender Eric Sofiachenko here. Eric, your thoughts on that result um, after early lead and falling down 2-1 here on the road? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. Um, I think uh, first half was um, like almost a textbook of, of how we want to play. We were dominant on the ball and we, we solved a lot of good things. But then slowly they, they came in this kind of a content feeling of, wow, it's going really, really well. And then suddenly counters happened. Um, and then they kind of had that little momentum going into the last 10 minutes of the half. Uh, and they, they, they scored that goal, which uh, yeah was, was crucial for them and, and not so good for us going halftime. But again... We were positive in the in the locker room and knew that we went out on the second half and needed to do some of the same stuff and uh, yeah it was more kind of a a, um, a transition game which we didn't want to have uh, and it ended up being uh, and they scored on a on a transition as I believe as well where uh, Pouge uh, kind of took the ball all the way through uh, and then in the end finished finished the attack so. Yeah, it's annoying, uh, but uh, again, we, we created the chance that we needed. There were two goal line clearances, uh, chances. Uh, I had a good header again. Uh, we're getting close. Everyone did their job, but uh, at the moment, teams against us are just scoring uh, the goals, and uh, when we have chances, we're not scoring enough goals, and uh, that is a little bit of the same record that we are telling. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we're, we're doing our best, and I think we we were... We had a, a, a good game. We should have had at least a, a, a result with us. Uh, we didn't, and uh, yeah, that's disappointing. All right, thanks for that. Joey, go ahead. Hey, Eric, the first goal you guys conceded on the night was very uncharacteristic of this defense this season. Take us through that play. What led to Gabriel Peck getting so wide open for that header? Um, yeah, it came out of a throw-in, as I believe, over that side, and then they kind of take the back ball and they, they go they go back the same side as, as the throw-in, and then Amin has a duel out on the side. But he kind of wiggles through that, and then uh, we are kind of shifted over, um, and then there's uh, a gap between me and Griff, but I need to follow my guy because he's going through the front post. And then uh, he's just unfortunately very, very uh, wide open um, and didn't miss. But I think we held him on, on a leash in the first half. Second half, there was some transition that I was annoyed by, that uh, he had some chances uh, that could have gone the, yeah, even worse for us. Um, but yeah, it, it happens, uh, mistakes. That's why football, if no mistakes were, it would be a boring game. You guys kept... Uh Striker Jovlich fairly quiet today. It's disappointing to still concede a few goals, and even with their high-class striker not getting any on the score sheet. Yeah, I think we in general uh, kept uh, kept them on a on a minimum, like expected goals, one point oh nine, and we had two point oh seven, which is says a little bit about the game and possession-wise, we we had the the dominant uh, game too. So that's why we could keep them. At a minimum, but still, the, the the feeling in second half was that we were we were lacking a little bit. Even though that we were trying to squeeze the pitch as much as we could and and minimize the gaps, then they kind of wiggled out of it, which is uh, their strength too. And um, they're also a, a decent team and, and and had some some good spells too. But yeah, it's it's tough right now when we don't get those uh, results, uh, especially when you're one nil up. Um, then you you kind of feel even more uh, devastated that you then go and lose the game uh, two one. Thank you so much, Eric. All right, Jorge, go ahead. Hey, Eric. Uh, a disappointing loss or unfortunate loss. How does the team regroup ahead of this long week? You, you're asking how we are? No, no. How does the team regroup ah. during this uh, yeah, but I've, I think we t talked a little bit about after the Dallas game that that the games just come really, really fast. Uh, we had a week to prepare for this game, but uh, now we only have a couple of days before we go home again to Colorado, which is a, a crucial game, um, a, a must win for us. Um, so yeah, we <laughs> we we are we are used to kind of having this very very congested schedule where we are kind of back to back with games and. As I said to you guys last time, I'm a fan of, of playing games, so we have a, a, a possibility to kind of get back and, and show that uh, we can win games too, and, and we need that. Uh, we need some, some more points, uh, and um, 
to get that feeling of of this team is is about something instead of just having some good performances but not really relishing the the performances with at least a point away uh, and and hopefully three points which we we need all right anything, anything else david does a hand maybe not all right we'll wrap it up there thanks guys thanks guys Eric.